Hey y'all, it's Steve, Hobo with Wood, and I'm going to go over how I use my file for the medical themed coaster box holder. So, stay tuned. When you open this file, if you download it from hobowithwood.com, it is set up with four layers. One is a toolpath, obvious. It's just the 300 by 300 toolpath. Then there's a red, blue, and black layer. The black layer is what I use for the engraving. I did this with a 10 watt diode laser, very low speeds and very low power and get a really dark, dark finish with the box. Then I used two different layers for cutting out the piece. I have the O1 blue layer and the uh, O2 red layer. So let's jump over here to Lightburn and show you what they are and why I did what I did when I did what I did. So we've got, and let's put it in feel mode. Somewhat, or we go, let's see, nope, Alt, Shift, W. There we go. So here you can see I've got the engraved cardiac, EKG, whatever, and the stethoscope. Then I've got the blue and red layers for cutting out the box. Now why do I have these on blue and this on red? Well, when I'm putting my boxes together, I like to have a little additional kerf uh, for my laser so that they fit together very snug and need very little glue. I'll put a little super glue in the corners to help reinforce everything but I don't use a whole lot of glue putting these slots and tab boxes together but when you're doing additional kerf you don't want to do it on these internal slots because if you add additional kerf it comes in on all four sides of this piece and that makes it extremely difficult to assemble so, I put, anytime I've got a fully in, um, enveloped slot like these, or they're surrounded on all four sides, I do those with zero kerf. And if you haven't used your kerf adjustments, if we go over here and look at the red layer, go to number two, you can see right here, I have it saved with a 0.1 outward kerf, 0.1 millimeter outward kerf. But if I look at the O1 layer, there is zero kerf, or the kerf is off. So it's not adding any kerf here, and this one is adding 0 0.1 tenth of a millimeter outward. Now, I'm using the Roly 10 watt, and that is a uh, really good fit, uh, makes it really snug to assemble. If you do not want to mess with anything in the way of kerf, you can simply come over here to the red layer with it selected, hold shift and click on that. And that will select everything that's on that red layer and just tell it to go to the O1 layer. Now it's going to put all of the cut on the O1 layer with zero kerf. That simple. Now you've got just two layers, black and blue with engraved settings. I have for my 10 watt Roly using, uh, Actually, you know what? I've got to save this again. This is not the right settings. Oh, I'll save it again and upload it again so it's correct. Because I did this at a much, much lower speed. This was something different. I messed up. But you get to see all of my mess ups when I make my videos. I don't hide anything. So I'll be saving this again and uploading it again. And it'll be uh, a speed of uh, about... Uh, I just went complete blank. blank. I know the power is going to be around 10% uh, and the speed is going to be around 800 millimeters. There we go. About 800 millimeters a minute and 10% power. There we go. And then my cut speeds, I did 
I had that right. I did a thousand millimeters a minute and a hundred percent power, but like seven passes. So I did, you know, pretty quick and got cut through. So I need to go save this again and upload it again or else you'll have the wrong speed and power settings, which you should never, for this reason, you should never trust any settings that you download from anyone, myself or anyone else included. You should set your speed and power rate settings for your laser. You may not want to do seven passes at you know, a thousand millimeters a minute. You might want to slow it way down and just do two or three passes at a slower speed. What works for you? Your environment, your laser, that's what you need to know. But let's get back over here, say okay. And actually, I'm actually going to put that back on the cut layer. There we go. The red layer, I should say. The red and the blue I use is for cut. Blue with no curve, red with curve. And you can put your logo in the middle of the bottom here and use that as the very bottom. Uh, so you can personalize your box. But it's a real quick, easy design. And it's I've got four slate coasters in there. They do have the rubber feet on them. But they stack very nicely. They're just below the surface. And you can see you got the heartbeats. And then you've got a stethoscope. And then I put my logo on the bottom. Now, it's totally personal preference. May or not matter. May, some of you may or may not. But if you'll notice here, I've got, there's the groove. And you can see I've got my logo lined up with the grooves. Because i got a groove there and a groove here. And there's where my logo's lined up. So, hobowithwood.com, that file's over there. Two different cut layers. The red layer has the curve on it. Blue does not. You can select, put it all on one layer, and don't mess with curve. Whatever works best for you. I'm Steve, Hobo with Wood. I hope this is a fun box that you can assemble. There's nothing to, to show you for the slate coasters. You buy those on Amazon. In fact, I'll put the link for the coasters I buy from Amazon in the description of this video and in the description for the uh, box on the website. Hubbowithwood.com. Thanks for watching.